Hello guys, my name is Pankaj Dubey and uh, in this video we are going to learn about test planning. So a test plan is a document that describes that what and how to achieve something in application under test. So making of a test plan is the very first step in software testing life cycle and it defines the rule, covers, scope, analyzes the available resources, timeline and risks associated with the testing of a project. Test plan documents. So follow the below mentioned steps to make a good test plan document. So first you have to analyze the business requirement. You have to have a good understanding of the business requirement, find the best objectives, define a test strategy, analyze the risks, which includes your tools, resources and timeline. Test environment and test data preparation, define entry and exit criteria. Define a traceability matrix so that you can trace the progress of the test execution at any given point of time. You also need to have a look of schedules and timelines and what are the deliverables that you have to supply to stakeholders. So how you can analyze the business requirement? What you have to do is you have to understand the requirement by going through the requirement document note down, the re note down and resolve your queries get a product or document reviewed find the test objectives so the objective of the testing is finding as many valid defects as possible and ensure that software under test is bug free before it is deployed onto the live environment in this phase you need to find out the core motive of your product you should need to know bug free features smooth performance and no security threat should be there if you are testing any product you also need to define the test strategy. So test strategy defines the software testing approach to achieve the testing goal. Usually the test strategy document is created by test managers and it says what type of tactics to follow and which module to test. Test strategy can be defined that how to get maximum requirement under testing umbrella by putting minimal efforts, what sort of testing you need to perform, what tools will be required. Analyze the risks. Find out that do you have available tools required for testing. Find out that do you have required skills to test. Find out if you have enough resources to complete the task in the given time frame. And find out that you have sufficient time to complete the testing. Next is test data environment, test environment and test data preparation. So test environment is also called test bed setup. It also means laying down all the needed softwares or hardwares required for a tester to execute the test scripts. In order to work on something or to process any request, a tester needs some data which they can place as an input and that is called a test data. Define entry criteria. So entry criteria is the prerequisites that must needs to be fulfilled before test team can begin their testing. In most of the places, smoke or sanity testing is defined as the case of smoke sanity and it must be passed as condition of entry criteria. Because whenever development is done on any piece or module of the, of the project, they give it to the testers to test, but testers do not begin the testing completely. They first do a smoke or sanity checks where they perform the critical checks of the application and once those cases are passed, then only the full testing can be done. You also need to define the exit criteria. So exit criteria are some conditions that must be fulfilled by test team before they can con conclude their testing activities. So it can be something like uh, the test coverage should reach 200% of traceability matrix and all the test deliverables are shared and ma many other things are shared with the stakeholders. Then only you can complete your testing or you can, you can complete your execution of your testing activities. Verify that all business requirements are covered as part of testing and no critical bugs are in open state. Now, you also need to define the traceability matrix and uh, the RTM or the requirement traceability matrix is a document that maps the business requirement and the test cases to trace the coverage of testing at any given point of time and to ensure that no requirement is missed as part of the testing. The main purpose of requirement traceability matrix is to see that all test cases are covered so that no functionality is missing. 
define schedule and timelines so uh, you should also define that what are the things that you need to complete in, within the given time frame so you can divide you can categorize your whole timeline into three parts you can divide your testing activities into the planning designing and execution and you also need to mention that how much time you are going to take in uh, planning how much time you are going to take in designing and how much time you are going to take for the test execution define deliverables so test deliverables are the documents scenarios test cases test scripts test data screenshot and bug reports that is shared during or after the testing life cycle so whatever you do as part of your testing activity you need to share the documented report of that and that will be called your test deliverables thanks for watching